everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to renew our 1980s G.I. Joe Tour Review, and I'll be concluding my Navy theme month with the second G.I. Joe Navy SEAL, the 1986 Wetsuit. Now, Wetsuit makes his first appearance in the old Marvel comic run in issue 47, and makes his first cartoon appearance in the 1986 five-part miniseries Arise Serpentor Arise in the very first part. And as a matter of fact, in the, car, in the comic book, he doesn't seem to have much of a personality. He's not really well developed. However, in the cartoon, he seems to be well developed because of his relationship with Leatherneck. Now, I believe the cartoon made fun of the uh, sort of rivalry between the two U U.S. military services, the Navy versus the Marines. But they practice more of a one-upmanship than anything else. And that certainly helps develop Wetsuit's character. A few uh, interesting things about the card art is uh, it appears to show that Wetsuit might have originally had shorts on um, to match his short sleeve scuba suit. But the toy actually did have uh, a long pants. Another interesting thing is that uh, I've always believed that his eyes kind of look like Charlie Sheen's. Crazy. Just like the 1983 Torpedo, Wetsuit comes with a scuba suit which is very reminiscent of a more commercial or sporty scuba suit, rather than something subdued that the military should wear. But it's really, really nicely sculpted, so it's fairly easy to ignore that. Wetsuit comes with a pair of flippers which are the exact same flippers which were issued with the 1985 eels. He also comes with an underwater sea sled. This more detailed part is the top, that's the bottom, and of course this is the front so the wings are actually swept backwards. He also comes with an underwater searchlight. It's rather nice. It has a little lanyard on the bottom. He comes with air hoses, which are made of a very rubbery material. The front piece being attached to the face. And they sort of wrap around and are hooked onto the back of his air tanks. Now I have a bit of a problem with this, as it doesn't seem quite as, as efficient as the way the hoses were attached to the 1985 eels. It seems that there's just kind of a, a waste of tubing there. And in fact, because this is a more rubbery material, instead of being uh, fragile where it connects to the face, it seems more fragile where it connects to the air tanks. These tips are often found broken off or broken and still stuck into the back of the air tanks. It's a lot of really nice accessories for this figure, so it's actually fairly easy to forget that despite being a SEAL's, wetsuit is not armed. He is more like a rescue diver than anything else. Wetsuit actually replaced the 1983 torpedo, at least on the shelves. However, in cartoon and comic book form, the two were often working together with many of the other Navy themed G.I. Joes. Another version of Wetsuit was also available within the same year through a Toys R Us exclusive box set called Special Missions Brazil. In it, there were five figures and an audio cassette. And while the accessories were exactly the same as issued with the retail card, the figure itself came with a dark silver wetsuit. The file card would also have a red back
Well, that's all the time I have right now. Thank you for watching my video, and stay tuned for next week to see another 1980s G.I. Joe toy review. See you then!